It's the 20th of November. My last day on the trails. Uh, I've actually taken another day to really what I needed to uh, since uh, Mount Hood. Uh, I've used the excuse that the weather's been bad, which it has. Pretty much rain. And I knew today was going, today was forecast to be sunny, and it is. Uh, but I just wanted to take that extra day or half day, probably, uh, to think about what Hiking the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail this year has meant to me. Uh, before I set out, I sat down in front of a camera and uh, laid out several reasons uh, that I was going to do that. I was going to hike. Uh, part of it was to maybe explain to other people, but probably, mostly, it was to organize for myself what the reasons were. Uh, I think I said at some point in that, yeah, there, you know, comes a day when uh, you're cold, you're wet, you're hungry, you're tired, and your situation isn't going to improve any uh, any time in the immediate future, and you better know why you're out there, <laughs> because otherwise you won't be. Uh, I don't know that I've achieved every goal that I set out for myself, uh, but I think I probably made at least some progress on every one. So that's been good. Uh, and here I am. I <laughs> I never got injured to the point that I had to leave the trail. Some people that I met, hiked along with, did. I never got so discouraged that I just said, "Bah." I was going to say that I haven't had a single day of being sick, but I woke up this morning and I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> Watch where I'm stepping instead of looking at the camera. Uh, probably from uh, hanging out at Mount Hood, you know, people sneezing and whatnot. I've been incredibly lucky. I mean, just incredibly lucky with the support that I've gotten from others. From home, you know. Uh, little words of encouragement, food boxes, micro spikes. Uh, hiking with Zorro was. Uh, I don't know if I would have made it if I hadn't sort of run into Zorro. And uh, he's sort of a perfect hiking companion for me. Uh, uh, you know, we hike about the same pace, kind of have the same style, same outlook on different things. And that made a big difference. Uh, other people that I've met along the way, other hikers, lots of trail angels. Yep, lots of trail angels. People invited me into their home, stay overnight, no charge, drop you off at the trail again. No, don't need to pay for gas. 
happy to do it. Uh, and I could name a lot of them here. I think maybe when I write my book, I'll name them all. They're the ones that I can remember. Uh, I also look back and I think, wow, we started on the 1st of January. That's, I think it's 323 days. <sighs> That's a long time. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a good chunk of a lifetime. It's a not insignificant chunk of a lifetime. Uh, and you get used to doing stuff sort of a certain way. Some of it is, uh, one of the reasons that I, uh, wanted to hike was I get reminded that you really don't need much. And that's certainly the case. And every morning when I would pack up, I put my stuff uh, in their little ditty bags or wherever they get organized. And almost invariably, I was surprised that like, well, boom, 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 put these three bags in your pack and you're, you're ready to go because that's all you got. I, I, I never ceased to be sort of amazed at how simple it was and then you just put those few things in your pack and away you go. Uh... A lot of time alone. I haven't seen anybody since uh, Mount Hood. Not a single person. Not a day hiker, nowhere. There were several days on the other side of Mount Hood in a row. Never saw anybody. Uh, yeah, you can go three, four, five days and not see anyone. You kind of got to uh, be okay with that for yourself. And there are negatives to that, certainly. Uh, you know, you get out of practice of compromising and, and accommodating other people, uh, even just in a conversation. Uh, but there are other lessons, and I'm sure they will sort of present themselves to me even more vividly once I am back in the everyday world uh, that I left ten and a half months ago. Lots of beauty. I mean, I, I, yeah, I can't even articulate all the beautiful places. And there's beauty in nature, even aside from the stunning vistas and sunsets. There's beauty in nature in, in the rocks and the moss and the trees that have like in this area are burned. The lower parts only are burned. Very strange. Yeah. The upper parts the fire never reached. Different kind of fire in some places. There's beauty in nature. And I've been pondering that and the profundity of nature uh, that you get when you hike alone. It's just you and the trees and the ferns and the, and the moss and the rain.
and I try to organize my thought. I've been trying to organize my thoughts the last few days. Uh, thoughts, emotions. Uh, and they're sort of not neatly stacked. They're all sort of jumbled in together. One overlapping with another, uh, over another, uh, can't even understand uh, what I'm thinking and feeling sometimes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked I was able to do both of these trails. Two of them in one year. I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. I have a torn meniscus in my right knee. I've developed plantar fasciitis in my left foot. I think I have a case of shin splints on my left leg because I'm trying to adjust my stride to make the plantar fasciitis not hurt so much. Uh, I'm not the strongest hiker. I'm not. I don't get up early. I hardly ever do 10 miles by 10 o'clock, which a lot of people do on a routine basis. I tend to fall behind during the day from the goals that I set, and then uh, I have to hike late. Usually, almost always, much later than, than other people. I just keep hiking. Earlier I mentioned I was so, I was surprised at how, uh, ev I mean every day th that like, well, I'm ready to go. Well, I got nothing else to do. The other thought that I have every day, almost in everything that I'm doing during the day, I say to myself, well, I'm not doing this right. You know, I, 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 should, I should ask somebody else how to do this better. Maybe I should, uh, you know, go online. I should ask Zorro. I should, you know, do this, do that. And then I say to myself, <laughs> dude, <laughs> uh, there aren't too many people, <laughs> really, if you're serious with yourself, who know how to do a long distance hike better than you do. And that shocks me too. Like, well, I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah.